Okay. All right. Hello, everybody. Give me one second here to pull stuff up as I transition here. And I know we've got no public comments for today. I mean, I know we're, so let me call this meeting to order. Sir, I can't find my agenda. I just had it. Give me one second here. Okay, sorry, here we go. So let me, am I on? Okay, I am open. All right, so I will call this meeting to order at 4.45 p.m. on June 30th. And I will take a quick, roll. well, digitally we can see that we've got every board member present except Milt, and he says he wasn't gonna be able to stay. Um, for our public session here. Todd is in the, the public session. He's trying to get moved over to the panelist session. So just give him a moment okay. as well. I'll give him a second. I'll consider this our taking of role and Milt's not here to take role. So I'm just gonna take it virtually here as we're documenting that every board member is here except for Milt currently. And oh no, Todd's in. There he goes, Todd's in here. Yeah, he just got moved in. Okay, okay, perfect. All right, good deal. So then um, we'll call to order, it was just done. And then we've established we have quorum. So on our agenda items, uh, for our consent agenda, we generally approve our agenda for the meeting for today. And we also have our May meeting minutes that were distributed prior to today's meeting. So I'll entertain a motion to approve our consent agenda and uh, those two items. So moved. Second. All right, so any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Yeah. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Perfect, thank you. All right, so then next, uh, number four on our um, agenda item for discussion and approval for today, uh, part A is zone chief performance outcomes and bonus. And so I will entertain a motion, or I guess, do I have a motion to discuss? So I guess we can start discussion on performance outcomes. Uh, and so the, Cheryl, I don't know if you wanna talk about just the annual report quickly there or? Um, sure, I can pull that up. Uh, do you wanna maybe give a little voice to the process while I pull it up so we're not wasting yeah, sure. time? Yeah, yeah, so I, yeah, I don't think we had to do a full overview, but. So, so to share um, from the, the standpoint of the board decision-making process here, um, Cheryl and the team have worked hard on an annual report um, to provide uh, to the board and publicly uh, what's been happening at the zone schools uh, this year. And uh, especially with the, the very unexpected and interesting challenge that COVID-19 has caused all of us, especially all of us that have children in schools, but also those of us who are managing schools, working in schools and connecting with schools. Uh, so. Um, it's been interesting to, um, to just see how creative everybody's been on our team and, and to, to work through that. And so um, show provided to the board um, and then it's publicly available now, uh, the, our annual report uh, document. And so I don't know if you just speak to that very briefly and then we could talk about um, the, the approval of the annual bonus. Certainly. So this year, there were three goals that were set for me as zone chief um, beyond sort of just, you know, having a successful year as, as empowerment zone. And the three specific goals were to develop a performance management framework um, that would help drive the work um, and to create it not in isolation, but to create it through a robust process that engaged community, um, families, schools, students. And so the other goal that we had was to strengthen the instructional core um, through strategic partnerships and actions, 
um, as evidenced by adopting a high quality curriculum in math and English language arts, designing a staffing model that would enable us to accelerate our work, um, recruiting and selecting high quality staff, and building the current capacity of staff to ensure standards alignment. The third goal was to engage family voices to drive transformation. Um, so me leading an engagement process that built relationships, developed knowledge, and enacted a plan for some of our strategy. Um, and so in the performance or in the annual report, you can see here on this page, page 17, um, we have developed a comprehensive performance management framework that will drive our work for next year. We engaged over 800 voices um, to, to do that very thing. Um, and we will be actually um, sharing with the public more detail in our July meeting on what that performance management framework looks like and seeking the board's approval um, for us to use it. For the instructional core, we took on multiple actions, which included purchasing high, new high quality curriculum for reading and math, mapping out a strategic talent growth plan, um, executing on strategic hiring with excellence, um, and so you can see that, you know, as of, as of the writing of this report, we were at 94% to total hire for all zone schools, which is significant um, because when I started last year in August, we still had multiple vacancies um, across schools that were challenging for us to navigate. Um, you can also see here um, that we have this comprehensive long-term strategy that was presented to the board back in May. Um, that's really focused on improving this instructional core. And then in, with engaging family voice, um, there were hundreds of family outreach moments um, beyond sort of the one-off concerns, conversations, building relationships with individual families. I also held um, almost 200 meetings um, with zone teachers, staff, to gauge their perspectives on how um, they were orienting to and engaging families. We held a variety of community meetings. And then during COVID-19, our team set an internal goal of contacting 50 families per week per school. So 250 families per week to ground ourselves in their perspectives. What were the pain points? Where do they need support? And then ensuring that we responded to that. Um, so uh, one more thing I wanna name related to this one, which is a really exciting celebration. As many of you know, our um, team, our Peace Builders team under the leadership of Deja Moore, Savina Rivera, Isai Solis, um, they all, and, and in collaboration with Navarre staff, Principal Nathan Boyd and his phenomenal team, um, we know that 21st Century Scholars is super important, was published in this Tribune. And we, um, we really approached the work of reaching out to families, making sure they understood that their children had the opportunity to have free college or free vocational school. And here's a couple data points that I wanna share that just sort of highlight this engaging family voice piece as well, which is when we started um, at, at Wednesday of last week, we had 45 children from Navarre registered. Um, as of yesterday, we had 99. And as of today, we have 116. So in just a short period of time, not even a full week, we were able to increase the number of students that were registered for the 21st century scholars program from 45 to 116. They're not even done um, counting yet. So I just wanted to share that data point because again, it speaks to the importance of us really being connected to families and making sure that they know all of the resources that are available. You're on mute. There we go, better. Um, well, thank you. Um, and I think, um, I mean, I'll say it before I entertain a motion. I think we've, you know, we've appreciated your work. And you know, I think one of the things that's a challenge is we all always hope for perfection, right? But I think uh, this year, in my opinion, not just met expectations, exceeded them. And uh, we're excited to continue to move forward. So I'll, I'll entertain a motion here uh, so, about, uh, go ahead. Yep. I, I would say I, I would mention that, uh, um, you know, we have re reviewed uh, basically our initial contract with, um, Cheryl, as well as her accomplishments, and like Sam, agree that she has uh, exceeded um, every expectation this this past year. And I'd make a motion that we approve a bonus in the amount of fifteen thousand uh, dollars for her uh, for this past calendar year. And then a second. I would second. Thank you, Ryan. All right, so any other comments or discussion around that? And, and to share context, that was 
the amount that we had agreed upon based on the, the, the performance expectations laid out at the beginning of the, the hire. Hearing no additional comments then, then I will uh, move us to a vote. So all in favor um, of approving this motion, please say aye. 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 Any opposition? Any abstentions? Excellent, thank you everybody. Well, Dr. Camacho, once again, thank you for the, your dedication, um, I think, not just to the work, but to our community to the youth and families that we serve, um, not just through Empowerment Zone families, but through our entire community. And so um, thank you very much uh, for, for everything you've done. And we're looking forward to uh, this next year, whatever surprises um, it, it brings us. So next could, on our agenda is- could I, yep. Sorry, could I just very quickly say, I just wanna just give credit to my team. I have a phenomenal team, a phenomenal team of people that make this possible. Um, that actually carry out the work with heart and care and incredible attention to detail. So I just want to compliment and lift up my team. Um, we wouldn't have had the year that we had in terms of building the foundation that we need for success without such a powerful and impressive team of principals and also leaders um, who I work with directly. And that's part of part of why we've I think this week, year has been great because of the team that's been built right to do this work. So thank you for for your leadership and all the heavy lifting this year. So speaking of leadership, uh, one of the other things we have to do annually here is for the approval of board officers um, and our committees. And so I also just closed the document that had my list of committees. Uh, but we'll start here with board officers. So our three officers that are up for appointment or renewal. Our, our board chair currently occupied by myself, um, our secretary uh, currently occupied by Milt Lee, and then our treasurer position that is currently vacant. Uh, and so I don't know if we wanna start, let's start at the treasurer position. And so we can start there and I will entertain nominations for somebody for um, our treasurer position. I'd like to nominate Ryan Mathis for the position of treasurer. Can I second that? Excellent. We'll see in the first and the second. And then Ryan, you know, thank you for you've been serving uh, as the kind of head of the finance stuff uh, committee. And uh, so that's one of my committees. I know we got to do. Oh, no, that's an administrative committee. Um, and so Ryan's been working hard on that and brings a wealth of experience from that, that background. And so um, do you accept uh, that nomination, Ryan? Uh, happy to. Thank you. Thank you. So any other discussion on that? Hearing none, I'll motion to approve uh, that nomination uh, or to motion, motion, I will call the question on the motion uh, so we can approve Ryan uh, in that position. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposition? Abstentions? All right, hearing none, congratulations, Ryan. Uh, so then we'll move to the secretary position. So I'd already talked to Milt and he's comfortable continuing in that role. He's not able to make this meeting. So even if he wasn't comfortable, we dominate him anyways. Um, but uh, so he is comfortable continuing to do that um, unless there was somebody else on the board uh, that is interested in, in taking that role and, and stepping up into additional leadership responsibilities. If not, um, I will take a motion to nominate um, somebody for our secretary position. So moved. Second. So I'm assuming those are for Milt, correct? Is there anybody else that uh, would, uh, so, and then I'll, I'm accepting on Milt's behalf the nomination. Is there anybody else on the board that would be interested in, in serving as secretary or? I will serve if Milt doesn't uh, want to continue. Oh, excellent. Okay, good. Um, and so one thing that I, um, hmm, um, so let's, uh, sort of Cheryl, your thought process on, on thinking about that. So one thing we could definitely do is uh, work with Milt and we can talk about that role. Um, and that might be something that I'm sure he'd be willing to share. Um, and maybe, I do, can we put off voting on this if we've got somebody else? Um, I just know I mentioned to Milt that he was willing to- We could to just vote it. Milt out. I mean, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I should, I'm going to text him. I'm going to text him right now. That's um, what he gets for not being here. 
Maybe he yeah. wants to be. If vocal. Milt's okay with it, that's fine with me. So let's, uh, how about this? Let's, uh, let's move to nominations for the president position or chair position, I mean, um, and then we can get back to this. I can send Milt a note. Um, he was willing to renew, but if uh, we can step in, you know, and take some turns rotating here, that's something that I think would, would be great. So then I will enter, uh, open a, a nominations for the chair position. Mm -hmm. I am willing to serve again. I'm also like, I, I think Wilt, Milt might be, is willing to share and have somebody else step into that role for a year. So I'm flexible either way. So maybe I'll start there. Um, is, is there anybody else on um, the, the board that would be interested in being board chair? No, thank you. <laughs> I mean, I'd lose, but no, thank you. <laughs> Anybody else? So do we well, have to nominate you? you? Somebody needs to. I, I'm okay. not allowed to nominate myself, even though I. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I got really silent. I'm just sitting I, I'll, here. I'll, I'll, motion snack. To, I'll, I'll motion to have Sam Santea serve as board president. I'll second. Thank you. So that's firsted and seconded. Seeing no other nominations, then I will, um, if there's any discussion. All right, so then I will call the question. All in favor of approving uh, me as the board chair for another year, please say aye. 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 All right, any say opposition? Oh, Joe, I just have a question. I need to leave. Do after we're done, do I need to withdraw the motion for milk that I made? Because I, I, I do need to go, or can you do that without me doing it? Well, let, so let's do this. So Milt said he's he's comfortable share, you know, uh, transitioning the role. So I think I, in my opinion, it's always great if someone wants to step up and help that we do that. And so I hadn't heard that before when we had talked about nominations. So um, so if, if that's the case, I think we could withdraw that motion or just kind of let it oh, die. There was no second for Milt, was there? If, or was I, there? I, I seconded, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think we could just, one, just let it, let it go away. And we had another nomination. If somebody would then want to, um, well, somebody would really need to nominate. Somebody was willing to do it, right? So Ashley's willing to, to take that role. And I think it'd be great to, to mix it up and, doesn't look like we're going to hurt Milt's feelings too much. So I'll smooth it over with him. So, so I'll nominate Ashley Northern to be our secretary. I'll, I'll second start. that. Excellent. So that's been first and second. Any discussion there? She'll be much better. And, and well, then Ashley, maybe if you want to just share, um, you know, since we, you and I didn't have a chance to talk about it before, just maybe um, why you, you're excited to, or looking to step up um, on, on the board role. Oh, yes. I, I'm actually the secretary on three other boards, so um, it it won't be much to take a, I want to be more engaging on this board as well. So if stepping up in a secretary role will allow me to do that, then that's what I'm willing to do. Excellent. Thank you. Well, good deal. Well, then uh, we've got a first and a second. Any other comments, discussion? All right, so I will then call the question and move that to a vote. All in favor of appointing Ashley as secretary of the board, please say aye. 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 Any opposition? Any abstentions? All right, seeing none, we have another appointment. So congratulations, Ashley, and joining the executive committee. Um, thank you for um, stepping up and giving additional time uh, to the Southland Empowerment Zone. So. Okay, so awesome. Uh, then as we will keep rolling through, we will do our committees. And I lost my list. So what would be good is whoever, those who are heading committees, if you could mention your committee and then who's on them, that might help me because I can't find that. Just kidding. Yeah, uh, from a governance perspective, uh, I believe Jeff, Leslie, Jasmine um, 
are, if I'm thinking right, or all the folks on the governance committee. Hopefully I didn't miss anyone. That's correct. Uh, finance committee as well. Uh, Ryan, myself, I think serve on that. Yep. Um, also, I would mention the, I, I, I'm not sure that I have the right name. It's the uh, chief evaluation committee as well. Was that a yeah, standing so, committee? Uh, that wasn't, a, I think that was just a, um, no, it was a standing committee. And that was you, myself, and Milt. And so I guess, Sarah, maybe to ask our um, procedural question here, do we need to appoint who's on committees or we just need to approve that we have certain committees? I know we did training on the retreat stuff in terms of committee structure, but I didn't catch what we needed to do for approval before I looked at the agenda here too. Because Mil as I as president headed the like kind of the committee that did the evaluation and contract. Ryan was doing finance committee and governance. And finance committee, Cheryl, is a is actually a committee of yours though, correct? It's an administrative committee. So Ryan just serves correct. as yeah. So it's not actually a board. So the finance committee is not actually a board committee. It's an administrative committee of the SBA. That's why I don't think we don't we don't need to approve who's on that or appoint people to your committee. Correct. So trying to, Correct. Trying to remember my Sarah, procedure. I just had Sarah moved to be panelist so she can answer your question. She couldn't answer from the audience. Oh, okay. Hi, Al. Sorry about that. Um, so you do need to nominate the committee members as a board. Um, that does need to be something that you vote on. Um, you don't need to vote on administrative committees, just board committees. Okay. Do you, can you share that list with me? Because I know you sent that to me and I can't find that document, of course, because I've got my screen all messed up with this Zoom thing here. So are you asking for a list of the committees? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Yep. Yes. So the committee, the two committees that you ha um, had last year was the governance committee and the zone chief evaluation committee. Yeah, so it's just the two. Just yep. the two. Okay. All right, so then, and does, and every board member doesn't have to serve on a committee, correct? No, that's correct. Okay. Yeah, so then we're, okay, so we're approving governance committee. So that's gonna be Ryan's committee. Um, assuming, Ryan, you're still comfortable with that. And then you had three committee members as listed previously. Um, so then I'll entertain a motion to approve the governance committee and members for the next year. So move. Second. Second. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Any other discussion? And we can make, we, we can also change these appointments because I remember we've had to do that before. Um, and so these are one of the things too, to maybe mention to other board members that also as you have time or don't have time or as things change or you want to be more involved in a different part of the organization. So think about like, yeah, I'd like to be, I'd like to join that, that committee um, or for sure, you know, definitely sharing, um, you know, uh, input with, uh, with committee chairs. So the, the, the zone chief evaluation committee was myself, Milt and Jeff. Uh, and not sure, how, um, if we need to approve that now, or do we, can we approve it when it's at a standing process? If now we can approve it now and then change members later, since we're, I guess we're, we're doing that right now. Um, and we have, um, the experience of doing that last year. So, um, any just let's, uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve the members of the, uh, zone chief evaluation committee. So moved. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. And so is there discussion? So maybe in the discussion portion, what I'll share is that, you know, the, that, that process will really ramp up in the spring again next year. So that'll be part of, you know, what we'll do once a year, um, which uh, that culminate, you know, will culminate at the end of the, the fiscal year. And so if there is um, other board members that want to engage in that process next year, um, at a higher level to um, let me know. And then we could talk about that at a future board meeting to, to do another appointment. Um, but we had had on our agenda for today um, to do these appointments uh, for the year. So these are amendable and changeable. 
um, and more than happy to help people move up or down roles or up and down with responsibilities throughout the year um, as either schedule work or things change. So, um, and so then all in favor of approving that committee, please say aye. 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 Any opposition? Aye. Any opposition? Abstentions? Excellent, thank you. Okay, so that actually closes the discussion and approval items on our agenda today. The last item on our agenda are, is public comment. And uh, there were no public comments received today during the public comment window. And so there isn't anything to share um, here today. I'm looking at my chat stuff. Um, so with that, I, unless, unless there's any board member, no, I think we're good uh, to close the meeting. So um, I guess I'll say from, from board chair closing out our last meeting of this uh, kind of, I guess, school year. Thank you to um, all of the board members for your service and time. Um, thank you uh, again to Cheryl. Um, yeah, you and your team have just done a lion's a, a line job this year um, of uh, really tackling some complex issues in our community, and I'm excited about what next year is going to bring. And I'd also like to thank all the people who've been tuning in um, to our meetings uh, uh, virtually. I know this makes it sometimes harder, sometimes easier for people to engage. And so I think this is great. Um, and we're excited about looking at strategy and work uh, for the next year and, and engaging the community around improving um, academic, academic outcomes for the, the students and families that we serve. Um, so without that, I will entertain a motion to adjourn at 5, 10 p.m. Someone's got a motion. So move. Thank you, Jeff. In the second. Second. Thank you, Ryan. All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Or opposition? None. All right. So we're good. Excellent. Well, thank you, everybody. And um, have a good evening. Thanks. See you guys.